Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be doing the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not, especially since this is a general reading. I thought I'd try something different, and we're going to do past, present, and future energies. So in the past, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Emperor. In the present, we have the Tower, we have the Moon, and we have the Six of Wands. In the future, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Cups, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Overall energy, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so in the past, we have the Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Emperor. So I feel that in the past that you felt that you were in control of situations, that you were in control of communication, that you felt happy, that you felt motivated, that you felt that you were in control of things. You feel that you felt that you were headed in the direction like you, you felt good. Like you felt like you were in control. You felt like you were in this emperor energy. I feel like you were communicating. I feel that emotionally, like you were reaching out and you're talking to people and you're communicating and you felt, I feel like your walls were down in the past. And I feel like you had that confidence within yourself. The current energy, the present energy, we have the tower, we have the moon, and we have the six of wands. So in this present moment that you're in this tower moment and you're unsure about how you're feeling, you're unsure about where you're going, you're unsure about your success, you're unsure, but I almost feel that for some reason, this was like a false positive, that this was that almost like, were you pretending that things were good? Were you pretending that things were okay? Like, were you trying to convince yourself that you were in control of something? Or were you trying to convince yourself that things were going the way that you wanted them to go? And I feel that with this present energy, because of the tower, it's something is built on a false foundation that there was some untruths about things. And I feel that with that being right next to the moon, that there's this deception, but this deception is falling down, that this deception is starting to crack and it's starting to really show you what's going on around you. And I love that the Six of Wands is next to it because I feel like it's you're finally able to see something or a situation for what it is. So maybe this was a relationship or maybe this was a job that you were working at and you were just trying to convince yourself that, yeah, like this is what I want to do. This is where I want to be. I'm feeling happy in this. And I feel for some reason that you were trying to convince yourself of this, that I do feel that you were making an effort, but I but because of this energy here of what you're going through right now, I just feel like those cracks have gotten bigger and that you're really able to see, okay, if I really look at this situation and I really think about how am I feeling and what is the truth about something that was I was trying to convince myself about something that in reality, I really wasn't that happy or I really didn't feel that, you know, in control. And I feel like for some reason, like that saying, fake it till you make it, I feel like that's what you were doing here. But I feel like you didn't, you made it, but in a different way. Like you didn't make it the way that you were thought you were going to, you're making it in a different way with the six of wands. I feel like you're achieving that success, but it's in a different way. It's, it's not the way that you were thinking because in order to achieve full success and full happiness and this full nine of cups over here that is coming in for you, that you have to speak your truth and that you have to face reality and that 
you're only truly going to be able to embrace this nine of cups that wants to come in for you if you're speaking your own truth and you're being true to how you really feel about a situation that you're not trying to pretend that you're not trying to fake things that sometimes when you fake it till you make it like sometimes that works but sometimes it doesn't and i feel that in this situation that it that it's not that it was like maybe it worked for a while but i feel like it's gotten to the point because of this tower and because of this moon is that you're realizing this deception that was going on within yourself but that leads to the six of wands which i feel like that's a positive thing like even though this may be hard as i always say that i like the tower because to me the tower is saying that the truth needs to come out and having to face a reality and that maybe if there's a lot of chaos going on around you and you feel like things are falling apart, it's because you have to see the reality of something and that there's a falsehood and that something was built on a false foundation and that you really have to figure out like what's most important for you. And the reason like this tower and this moon and the six of wands that this leads to this future energy of this knight of pentacles right look at how that knight of pentacles is looking right at that nine of cups is heading right towards this and you have to remember that the knight of pentacles is slow steady progress that it's not something that happens overnight i feel like you're coming into your own i feel like you are coming into your emperor energy but I feel like it's in a different way, but I feel like it's in a better way. It's a way that's truer to yourself where you feel more balanced and you have that. We have the infinity sign, which is individual empowerment and that you're empowering yourself, that you're not empowering someone else, that you are empowering yourself. And I feel like it's your nine of cups that you've wanted and that maybe over here, you didn't even realize that you want this nine of cups over here. And maybe you were trying to be like, oh, okay, I'll be okay with this, but really I want this, but I'm going to pretend that I'm happy with this. So I almost feel like the universe and the, and the, and the cards are saying is, is go for your dream. Don't tell yourself that you deserve less than what you really want. That if you want something to happen is to dream big and to not say, well, I feel like I only deserve this much. And I feel for some reason, that's what you're doing over here. And you're saying, well, I guess I only deserve a, you know, a, a relationship where it's, you know, only 70% of, of, of happiness here. Um, and that, you know, there's, there's a lack in the relationship and I'm just going to settle. So over here, I feel like you're settling over here. You're being true to yourself. But the reason why is this tower is makes you realize that you shouldn't deceive yourself and that you should go for, you should go for whatever it is you want to and dream as big as you want to and don't cut yourself short. And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing here. The overall energy is we have the page of pentacles and I feel like it's, it's start that spark, but continue it and don't give up and dream and dream big like the world is yours and if you feel that you only deserve less than what you really want then i feel that that's something that you need to look into and you have to look a little deeper and say well why do i feel i only deserve this amount why do i feel that i have to settle with this why do i feel that i have to be in this energy where i'm trying to convince myself that i'm happy why do I feel like that's what I have to settle for? And exploring that a little deeper and saying, why do I feel that that's where my limits are? There are no limits. There are no limits. That's what I feel like it's, it's trying to say is that there are no limits and empower yourself and go after and make things happen that you want to have happen. Um, definitely, I felt for myself that I would always put limits on things. And so now it's like, no, I'm going to dream as big as I want to dream. And I'm going to put myself in that energy and I'm going to accept that because I deserve everything. I deserve all of the abundance that I can dream up in my head and more. <laughs> right. And that's how you should feel too. 
And it's that shift, that tower is what creates that shift and moves you away from that moon card. Let's grab some advice from the animal oracle for you. Sometimes it's like we almost have to, like we we know that we're th we're thinking in a negative way, and it's almost like we have to hear from someone else or something else to say, yeah, it's okay to dream big. It's okay to go after those big goals. It's it's okay. You're not being it's not a negative thing. It, it's, it's not because I almost feel like sometimes society makes you feel that if you're super successful and you want to dream really big, it's like, sometimes I feel like it depends on who you surround yourself with, but sometimes it's like, you feel like almost guilty about that. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. But I feel like sometimes that's what can happen. And it's why not? Why Why can I not? Because, you know, they made those rules. Who's the they, right? The only one that makes rules for your life is you. And that's what you have to remember. And the only one that sets limits in your life is you. That if you're limiting yourself, why, why are you trying to convince yourself about something? And to <clears throat> break that down. And get rid of that right and rise above the situation and say i deserve all the success and abundance that i can think of and more and this is what wants to come in for you is this nine of cups and let that come in let all of that abundance come in and again be thankful for that and having that gratitude mindset and even just having that gratitude of, I'm so happy that I finally realized this, that I don't have to settle for things, that I can have all of the abundance that I want. And once, like I've said before, it's like you don't have to have just one nine of cups. You can have as many nine of cups as you want, right? You can have 900 nine of cups, right? Don't limit yourself. That's what, that's what I say. Don't set those boundaries for yourself on abundance that you want to bring in. Um, we have vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. So all the lessons that you're learning, all of the challenges that you have, those are learning lessons. And how can you learn and grow from that? And how can you, right, having this tower moment that this is not wasted, you're not wasting time, because you're learning more about yourself, and you're learning more about how you can achieve this nine of cups we have b spirit sweet results away i love it <laughs> this is one of my favorites in here um because sweet results do await you have to do the hard work right like that bumblebee like going out and harvest finding the flowers and getting the pollen and bringing it back like making that honey take some work and putting in that work. And this is part of the work that you're doing here. It's part of the things that you're realizing about yourself and where you've kind of set up those limitations and where you have to bust through that and say, right, where you have to bust through that and say, no, I deserve this nine of nine of um, cups here. And then we have white raven spirit, trust in the magic, trust in, I feel like it's trusting in yourself, trusting in the universe, trusting in your spirits or, you know, whatever that is that you believe in, trusting in yourself, trusting that there's a magic around you, um, trusting that dreams can come true and um, trusting that this abundance wants to come in for you and that it can happen for you. And I feel like it's, that's a big thing because I feel like it's looking at, do you have, I feel like there's this bit of negativity or this doubt or this, you know, I don't really believe this or, and if you don't believe that, that's fine. But I feel like in this reading here, it's kind of busting through that with that tower and saying anything is possible that you set your mind to. Um, anything, any nine of cups that you want to have, and it could be multiple nine of cups, like I've said before, it's progress, it's slow, steady progress with this nine of pentacles. But I feel like that nine of pentacles is always like trying to look at the good side of things and trying to, because once I feel like we get into that negative, it's really hard to break away from that. It's really hard to move on from that because it's almost like, 
you know, do you feel a sense of comfort? Is your comfort zone feeling in the negative? That's definitely was mine. Like it definitely was mine, which I've said many times before is that being negative is, is, was really my comfort zone where I felt that I was never going to amount to anything, that I wasn't going to be anything, that I was always going to struggle, that I could never have what it is that I, you know, wanted. It's just like feeling sad, feeling lonely. I mean, that was definitely something that I always felt that that was my comfort zone. And so I would self-sabotage myself in order to feel that way. And now I, I don't do that anymore. I, I'm working on that. If I do do that, I'm only in that for a few hours, maybe a day at most. And then I move on from that because I say it feels so good to feel empowered, to feel that nine of cups energy, that that feels so good to me is like, that's my comfort zone now that I'm shifting that to what makes me happy. Um, we have star dragons here. We have resilience, finding your limits, and we have um, transcendence, achieving success. I love it. Achieving success. Finding your limits of tolerance, of accepting things that you're trying to convince yourself are making you happy. And I feel that transcendence is leveling up, right? It's finding that success. It's finding that nine of cups. It's achieving success success is different for every single person. You know, that comfort zone, that feeling of success, that nine of cups, those sweet results, those are different for everyone. And even within ourselves, like we have different things that get, bring us fulfillment. Um, sometimes, you know, it's like, I just feel like it's, it's, it's like we're trying to convince ourselves of, of what, what is success, but it's all individual. And whatever makes you happy, like that's okay. And to not feel guilty that if that's what you like to do and that makes you feel good and that brings you a sense of peace and calmness, that that's okay. That it doesn't have to be, well, society says that you have to feel this way or be this way or achieve this to be successful. It's whatever you feel within yourself that brings you that success. And that's what's important. And it's... It's finding, finding your limits as to how much are you going to put up with? Like how, how much do you want to deal with? Like finding your limits and say, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. I'm ready for this tower moment. I'm ready to clear this moon energy and I'm ready to embrace. I feel like you're, 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 I feel like with this energy that we have in the, in the present energy, I feel like it's, you want to be in the six of wands energy. Like you're realizing that you're moving away from this and that you're going to have to change things up with this tower moment. And you're realizing, Hey, I really feel like I've been fooling myself. And I feel like the very important thing is to say, don't be upset with yourself. If you're like, Oh my gosh, I wasted so much time being in this energy, but it's being thankful for, Hey, I'm so glad that I finally realized that it's time for me to create this tower moment. It's time for me to clear up this moon card and it's time for me to embrace the six of wands and that I'm so glad that I realized this, right? It's being so grateful and saying, I'm so glad that I finally realized this, that I just didn't stay in this energy because it was easy. We have reliable. I feel that it has to do, I feel that with the harp, I was feeling a sense of peacefulness and calmness because harps sound so pretty. Um, but I feel like it's being able to feel reliable on yourself, being able to rely on yourself to say, Hey, I'm not happy, right? That I'm tired of being sad. I'm tired of being lonely. I'm tired of sabotaging myself. I'm tired of always feeling like all these negative things are happening to me, I, that I'm tired of being in that energy. I'm tired of settling. I'm tired of trying to convince myself that I'm happy about something, right? That I want to be able to rely on myself that if I say, okay, I'm not happy that I'm going to be able to trust myself to be able to make those changes, to set those boundaries, to set those limits, right? And to recognize negative patterns sooner and to embrace positive, positive ones quicker and be able to rely on yourself because sometimes I feel like we don't even realize how much we self-sabotage ourselves or, or that we work against ourselves. Um, 
definitely that was a big thing for myself. It's like, wow, life seemed hard enough as it was. And I couldn't even rely on myself to, you know, sometimes I think back and I'm like, wow, I can't even believe I made those choices or I did those decisions. And I, I think now, and I'm like, gosh, if I was in that same position now, I would definitely not make those choices that I had made in the past. But I didn't realize it at the time. I thought it was the best decision. That's where I was at that time. And I can't be angry with myself about that. But I'm thankful with myself that I finally realized that that's not, I was trying to look for validation or happiness or, you know, through the wrong avenue and I need to find it within myself and be reliable on myself and not try to always look for that through someone else, which was what I was doing before. We have for our Lenormand, we have the storks and I feel like it's building with that nest and it's about the nest isn't just there unless you find one, right? But I'm saying that if you're starting a new nest, right, you're starting something new, that it's one stick at a time. It's it's placing it in a place where it's going to be sturdy, where it's going to be able to hold, right? That building something takes time. And I just feel like it's... um it's realizing that this is something that's going to take time and sometimes the wind will blow or something will happen and part of the nest will fall apart. So then you go get the sticks and you build it back up again. And I feel like that's what's happening here is like part of the nest has kind of come apart and it's okay, pick up those sticks and fix that, patch that, right? Fix that, make it stronger or to realize that, okay, I'm, I'm starting a new nest, right? That I've decided to move on from that one and I've decided to start a new one. So it's going to take me some time with that Knight of Pentacles to build that up. And I feel too many times, and I'm guilty of this too, is that we're always trying to rush. We always want the results. It's about, you have to put in the hard work. You have to Realize that this is something that is, that there is, if you don't think about it as time, right? So I was listening to the, um, let's see, I think it was Becoming Supernatural. I think that was either that one or Psycho Cybernetics. It was about just getting rid of time altogether, that when you're trying to make these changes within your life, to not put the time frame on it and not think of it as time. And when you're able to let go of time, then you're just kind of focusing on, okay, this is what I want to do, or this is what I'm trying to achieve. And that it doesn't matter how much or how little time it takes. Because I feel like, I feel like society is very time oriented, which you know, obviously we have to be to work at a certain time. We go to sleep at a certain time, but I feel like it's, if it's as far as the personal progress, I feel like it's, it's not putting time on it. If you put a time limit on it and it doesn't happen the way you thought it was supposed to be, or you're not where you are, then that starts to set in the negative emotions and feelings. And it's kind of looking at, okay, for me, it was like when I put time frames on things, then I would start to get frustrated. So I'm trying to release that and let it go and not put a time frame on things, but just be in the energy of this is what I want to work on. This is how I want my life to be and to be in the present moment and just enjoy the moment where we are right now. And that, that definitely is something that takes a lot of work and is definitely has to do with your mindset. Let's get a, get a Wisdom of the Oracle here for Capricorn. I kind of feel like these two here. We have Orphaned and we have Clean It Up. So I feel like that's saying take that time to yourself to clean up, right? Those thoughts, those emotions, those um, feelings. And I, I don't feel Orphaned is is the negative thing. I feel like orphan represents take that time to yourself where you're not feeling pressured by other things or um, other, other people and take that time to yourself to clean up those things that you need to clean up, right? That negativity or that self doubt or that, you know, feeling like you only deserve X amount. Um, to have that time to focus on you. For some reason, I feel like you're kind of focusing on other people. And I feel that for some reason, you feel guilty about focusing on yourself. 
And you shouldn't feel guilty about that. You should be able to communicate to the people around you and say, you know what, I need to take some time to myself. I need to back away from this situation. I really need to think about, you know, where I am at my life and what, what are those things that I need to change? And sometimes you have to make tough decisions. Sometimes you have to set boundaries with people that you feel like you have this obligation to, or you feel like you have this responsibility to, but that person is a negative person. And, but you feel obligated that you're supposed to, I, I just personally feel that if you're with, if you're around someone who just, uh, they just, they're just a narcissist. Like I said, I have my, both my parents were, are, my father passed away a year ago. My mom's still around and they're both narcissists and it's taking me a while. Like I, t I had to set boundaries. Like, even though you're a parent, like in society says, well, it's your parents. So you're supposed to take care of them and you're supposed to, but I'm like, why should you have to let them mentally abuse you? Which is what I've gone through my whole entire life is mental abuse from my parents. And it's like, why should I continue to do that? Because they're my parents. And I'm like, no, I had to set boundaries, right? I had to for my own health, for my own well-being, because it was putting me in a very dark place. And that wasn't good for me. And even though you try to explain, and I tried to have conversations with my mom, and I tried to say, this is what I need from you, and this is how I'm feeling, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to them. They can't see that. They live in their own bubble, and they feel like in their universe, they're the victim, and they're being the best person. And, and no matter how much you try and tell them, and no matter how much you try and you know, have those conversations and no matter how much evidence that you have and things that you, you, you tell them, they're still not going to see it. You know, some of them can, but for, for me, my parents, they never saw it. They can't see it. They're not going to see it. And I'm tired of trying to make them see it. So I had to set boundaries and the sense of freedom from that, like, it's just like the sun is shining on me now, right? I feel so much happier. I feel so free. I feel like I'm enjoying life. I'm like, life is good. You know, I love that saying. And it's just like, I feel so much better. And that cloudiness is gone. For me, that's what worked for me. I'm not a doctor or a therapist. You have to choose what is right for you. But sometimes we do have to set those boundaries and it's okay. It's okay. Um, that it's, it's not your responsibility you know, to fix your parents, right? To be that fixer that they have to want to choose that and do that on their own, even though you're, they're your parents. Um, and even if it's somebody else that's close to you and you have to choose you, that's what I'm choosing me. And I choose to surround myself with people that I feel care for me and that are there for me, that are positive and, you know, that even if it's just like one person, like, I don't care how many people it is or isn't. I know that I'm working on me and I know that I'm enjoying each day and that life is, is very full for me and I'm the happiest I've ever been in my whole entire life. So I feel like that's for you too. Don't feel guilty about working on you. Don't feel like you have to settle for something because that's what you're supposed to do, right? Tear that down with that tower. We get rid of that deception and rise above with the six of wands and say, and figure out what is my nine of cups and what do I take that time to yourself with this orphaned and this clean it up, right? Clean up that negativity and figure out, okay, what represents sweet results and nine of cups to me. And it may change in a year and that's okay. But in this moment, right? Being in this moment right now, having that transcendence and having that, you know, achieving success, do that for yourself to be able to rely on yourself and say, I want to be able to trust myself and rely on myself that if I'm struggling, then I'm going to make those tough changes and those tough decisions if that's what's needed and to not feel guilty about it. It's again, it's not something that happens overnight. It's not the easiest thing to do. Definitely. It's taken me years, if not decades to try and figure this out within myself of what I need to do. That's going to work best for me. And that's okay. And I feel like I'm finally working on that. Um, because feeling this positive energy, there's nothing like it. <laughs> 
Um, so we have solitude. So we have the hermit. So again, I feel like this is a strong message for you to take that time with that orphaned, right? Take that time to yourself and to not feel guilty about that and really look within yourself and say, what do I really need to have happiness in my life, to have fulfillment, to have this nine of cups in my life, to bring those sweet results, right? That i not trying to convince myself. Is it relationships that need to be adjusted or changed? Um, we have the three of pentacles, recognition and reward. And I feel like it's that reward for yourself for putting in the hard work because the three of pentacles is about working hard and recognizing, right? And rewarding yourself and saying, I'm so proud of myself for realizing that I have to make changes. I'm so proud of myself for realizing that I'm not settling for things. And then we have Okay, so we emotional withdrawal, but I also feel again that this goes with the orphaned and it goes with the solitude. And I feel like sometimes you just got to have to have that emotional disconnect towards a situation or a person and really look within yourself and say, is this emotionally fulfilling for me? Is this right? And and to just put that aside and really think and doing some some deep work and some deep thinking and this is something that you know sometimes it can feel overwhelming and it can feel scary and it can be like oh no i don't i don't know if i want it's exhausting to do it but it's just like so fulfilling and rewarding when you do do it doesn't mean you have to do it all at once it could just be a little bit here and there break it down to smaller bits so that you feel that it's working for you and you're feeling that um you're feeling safe in your space. And, and if you feel that you're being overwhelmed, you're like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, table this for now. It could be journaling, writing things down, writing your feelings down. It could be having conversations with someone that you trust and talking things through. It could be, you know, like I've said many times before that when I was really struggling that I would actually make videos talking to myself. I just kept them for myself. And then a lot of times I wouldn't even work on, I wouldn't even look at them. I would just delete them because I felt like I no longer needed that. But for me, it was a way of releasing. I would just talk into the camera and I would just say how I was feeling or what I was going through. And for me, that was another way that helped me. So it's like figuring out that way that helps yourself and to do that. Um, and to, Again, it's like the bird nest. It's something that's going to, one piece at a time and know that it's going to take some time. But each step that you make, you start to feel more confident and you start to feel better and you start to search out even more ways to help yourself, to not settle for things and to empower yourself, right? Life is a journey and this is part of your journey and to... Um, just enjoy each moment. And if it's time to bring in that tower, then it's time to bring in that tower. But you have to look within yourself, right? Take that time to look within yourself and say what's truly going to make you happy. All right. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you're still hanging in there with me. This one kind of went a little long. I kind of go off on my tangents because I just get so excited about it because I've gone through it myself. I've been there. I've gone through it. I've dealt with it. And I really, like I said before, I feel like I'm in the best place I've ever been. And this is part of my sharing my journey with you is, you know, if I can help just one person to feel better and to help them on their journey, then that is so fulfilling for me and the best feeling. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I wish you the best in your journey.